Mm. By the way, I watched both Rampage and SmackDown this week. Oh, yeah. I actually watched everything, even though I was on vacation. Oh, yeah? And I thought that Rampage was actually a pretty good show. Back to being taped. And uh, we had the confrontation with Jungle Jack Perry, Christian Cage, and Luchasaurus. Jungle Boy Jack They're Perry. going to be having a... I said those exact words. You said Jungle Jack. He's Jungle Jack. He's not Jungle Jim, no, Jungle Jack. He's Jungle Boy Jack Perry. He's Jungle Jack Perry. He's whatever I want to call him, bro. It's my show. His whatever. name is Jack Perry. My name's and it was pointed out that, like his father, he's just a pretty face. And he got mad at that, and Brawl broke yeah, out. He is. They're having a... No, he's not. He's talented. Well, so was his father. Yeah, I mean, he's talented. And but they I mean, got a... Uh, you know, they're going to have a, a cage... They're going to have a cage match of the pay-per-view. I think Christian's right. And then Luchasaurus beat him up, choke slammed him onto a chair. This Luchasaurus, by the way, everybody, his shoulder's all messed up. I don't know if you noticed or not, but he did a left-handed choke slam. So, I don't know... <laughs> He's Lucha, Luchasaurus. No, Come I don't on. know. I don't know how bad it is, but he's been he's been hurt for a while now. So hopefully he's uh, it's not something serious. So then we had a death triangle interview where Pac explained, just like when you try to run out shows, you got to do this by any means necessary. We had Brian Cage beating Dante Martin in a eliminator tournament match, and this is a pretty good match. Brian Cage got the win with whatever his weapon X is. It's a very complicated move into a, a you know downward spiral. Everyone's favorite move in wrestling. Would you take it? Sure, I trust Brian Cage. He ain't gonna hurt me. He throw you around. And they uh, and he he moves on in the tournament. Young Dante Martin has been eliminated. We had a Lee Moriarty open challenge accepted by Hook. That's coming up. And then another House of Black vignette. And then the main event was... Uh, actually, this was not the main event. God, there's a lot more on this show. But this was one of my main events. Bandito and Roosh in an Eliminator Tournament match. Nine minutes aired on television. And I have mixed feelings about this match. And here is my biggest criticism. And actually, this happens all the time in AEW. And uh, they were doing it for a while in uh, NXT as well. And that is that you get a guy, he signs a contract, he's brand new, and then, like, the very first match, he's just another dude in the mix. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I watched this match, and I knew Bandito was winning. Because if 8 minutes and 41 seconds aired, he did nothing but get beaten up for 7 minutes. He just got beaten and beaten. Beaten and beaten and beaten and beaten and beaten. Finally, literally, this is what happened. His comeback was a move. The dude runs at him. He lifts him up. He does one press slam. And then he gets kicked. And then he gets beaten and beaten and beaten. And I'm like, bro, like, did you sign this guy for three bucks a day? Why are you treating him like this? And then... A bunch of dudes ran in, and we had all of the interference and everything like that. And then Bandito does a roll-up and wins and escapes by the skin of his teeth. I was like, what was that? Like, you know, the action was fine and everything like that. But this was, this was like, if you, if you want to think about the term, you know, showcase a guy, this was as far away from showcasing a guy as you could possibly go without actually beating him. If they beat, if they beat him, it would have been worse. But man, oh man, dude. So anyway, Bandito barely won, and he moves on in this tournament. Nyla Rose and Kayla Sparks. Okay, I hate this feud. I think it's been horrible, okay? But all they had to do was this. Nyla comes out. It's 40 seconds. She's just spoofing Jade Cargill. She's doing all of her moves in the most exaggerated manner possible. And then she beats her. She beats Kayla Sparks with her, her finish. I was, this was great. And then everybody runs in and she beats him up. And then uh, Nyla Rose escapes with her uh, security, which she had hired or as a, as a result of her uh, security. And so she still got the belt. So I did enjoy this. Is she a heel? I'm not sure. That's She's really, a baby face to me. 
Nyla in like real life is a absolute baby face. You see her social social media the whole night. Like it's great, but like she's with Vicky and with Marina. I don't know her. You don't know her, Shafir, and it doesn't really make any sense. And I, I would kind of rather see her with more an aggressive streak and be more of a monster because I think they could use that with their division, but I don't know. She's also somebody that would be a great example of somebody that needs house shows it's because, you know, I don't know how often been utilized on Dark or, 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 or the other show, but like... You know, that's a great example of somebody that could be somebody in that division and have some impact, but they haven't wrestled all that much. And it's not like the matches have been great, but as a personality, incredible. And then the uh, main event was Orange Cassidy and Lee Johnson. And, uh, you know, I, I had suggested for Dynamite or for Rampage to basically do it the way they did the old Saturday Night's main event, which is open with a big time main event match or segment. And then, you know, you got your matches, but... The quality of, of, of match trickles down as the show goes on. And, you know, it's, it's clear, dude. Starting at 10 p.m., there's nothing and there's nobody that you're going to put in this main event segment that's going to save this show and prevent the, the slow, late-night decline of Rampage. And so what they did here was Orange Cassidy and Lee Johnson. It was an All-Atlantic Championship match, but it's not going to do huge numbers. But it's a good, solid match. And, you know, it was they got nine minutes of television time and, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. It was good match. Orange Cassidy won with the beach break. Best friends there. You know, they were out there along with uh, uh, Lee Johnson's crew. And uh, afterwards, they did the big hug. And then this idiot Cole Carter gets in the ring. He gets beaten up and then he stands up and they all hug him. And then he's all excited. And so they beat him up again just a thing to send the people home happy and you know it was it's not going to do a great number but if you if you stuck around at the end you saw a good match with a star and it was fun but they didn't waste you know a huge match or something in that final quarter that's just not going to do anything no matter what so i uh i like this show what part do you love about this job granny nothing when you when you irritate me <laughs> you make me mad i I guess seeing seeing you guys. When you needle me. Quit yeah. talking over me. Sorry. If Granny, this person asks, could leave only one thing in her will for Brian, <laughs> <laughs> what would it be? Rufus versus Roman Reigns, 2016. Rufus, Rufus on barricade. Rufus comes back, drops... Reigns on the top rope. <laughs> Rufus has a temper tantrum because only two count. Do you know that we put a clip of you on the internet last week? And these people on the internet are so dumb that they thought that we hired an actor to play you. No. Mm -hmm. uh, ah, forget yeah. about it. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.